Well, 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 guys. It seems we have some uh, very disgusting people, sick people, uh, I would say, that is, um, deserves to probably be put out on the street and then probably executed. Oh, did I say that? I'm sorry. Well, and this is true, because, um, what this says is very disturbing. Of course, Project Aerofertus, as we all know, is doing God's bloody, blood's loving work, and I think we can respect Project Veritas. More power to Project Veritas. I mean, you can donate to these people there. They're our brother in arms, and that's what we need to keep them for. And no, this is not the Black Panther fist, people. Come on, stop it. None of that. Jesus. All right, so let's get straight into the article. Elite, Ch elite Chicago private school's dean of students brags about bringing in LGBTQ plus health health center to teach queer um, <clears throat> fun time to minors. That's a really cool part of my job, passing around um, adult toys uh, using lube versus spit. Great. This is, this is fantastic. This is exactly... Uh, Joseph Bruno, Dean of Students, Francis W. Parker School. So I've been the Dean for four years. During Pride, we do a Pride Week every year. I had our HQ Plus Health Center come in to the classroom. They are passing around butt plugs and dildos um, uh, to my students, talking about queer um, fun time and using Lou versus using spit. They're just like passing around... Um, Adult toys. The kids are just playing with them, looking at them. They're like, "How does this uh, toy? How does this toy work? How do you? How do we do? Like, how does this work?" Because that's really a cool part of my job. We've had a drag queen come in, pass out cookies and brownies, and do photos. Project Veritas released a new video today exposing a high-ranking private official, uh, official Bruno, 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 who admitted that the, that he teaches underage children about um, fun time with uh, items such as. Um, Adult toys. Bruno, who works as a dean of students at an elite school in Chicago called Francis W. Parker, said that these were the items brought into the classroom by an LGBTQ plus group. So I've been the dean, blah, 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 we heard it. The school administrator, administrator claimed that the edge of this is educational practice, one of the reasons he enjoys his current employment. Yeah, educational practice. Right. All right, let's see here. So, uh, how, who's all in favor for a public executing that school? Actually, in fact, I think maybe um, completely demolishing that school may be the right choice, considering we have um, degenerates in that school. No, probably the wrong like, people, you know, groomers, child predators, you know, people like that at that school. Probably should be looked into it just a bit. The kids are just playing with them, looking at them. Uh, uh, they're like, how does this... Uh, blah, 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 we already heard that. Bruno also said he has invited a drag queen to the school. Uh, and... Uh, blah, 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 blah. So, um, I think at the end of all this, I, I think we need to start talking about these um, lunatics um, maybe not being allowed at all into society. Um, we used to have uh, mental institutions. Um, we should probably go back to that to save our, uh, you know, maybe just save our lives and, you know, put the crazy in the in the crazy bin. So uh, this is what I'm talking about. Most people don't seem to understand that the um, schools are home schools, or not the home schools, but the uh, um, public schools are very bad, very 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 bad. Maybe we should probably homeschool children or put them into potentially private schools, preferably home schools, and make sure kids are actually being well uh, being well taught. Um, but I will say that the our private schools are not as are not nearly as bad as I would say public schools. Public schools are the absolute worst. I would damn near call them indoctrination camps, and I think that these schools um, probably should be investigated. Which I think uh, Project Veritas is doing. It comes down to the insanity of the far left to where they want to teach kids and groom kids these type of things. And this is what's how disgusting it may come. Some people don't want to realize this is the reality, but, <laughs> but it is. Um, so yeah, I think homeschooling kids should be 100% a requirement at this point. Um, to prevent your kids from obviously getting groomed or at the very least or worst possible scenario uh, sexually assaulted because this is this is getting way out of hand this is a constant thing that's been happening here 
Um, we need to constantly. We need to be fighting for our kids. We need to be fighting our country, and we can't be letting them taking the innocence of children. Rather, these are not really children. These are more, you know, high schoolers from the looks of it. But even still, um, this is this is going pretty far into the end. In, in speak of. Oh, they're not doing this or not what have you, but we're having quite a bit of evidence that this is the case that's been going on, and I think this needs to be stopped. Um, I don't see how we can keep on moving on as a country when we have uh, disgusting people like this being roaming around into our streets, um, uh, teaching our kids, and etc. I, that's the reason why when I think that uh, the Republicans, I mean, they need to actively do something. They can't just say it. Um, as much as I don't really like uh, Maggie Taylor Greene, she was actively trying to put into actual, uh, I would say, actual uh, actual work into trying to stop all these things from happening and all that. And I, I really think that's that's the pro, uh, the way to go. I do not like when the Republicans don't actively do anything. We need to start fighting back because the only way we're going to be able to fight back is actually putting laws and consequences onto people. If we don't do this, then the Republican Party, as they always are, is useless, and we need to be able to fight back on what it is. I think some of the reason why also people will vote for vote other than Republican is because, well, the one side fights back, whereas the one side doesn't really do much of anything. They say, open their mouth, do nothing, and then there's nothing to be done. And I think that's part of the reason why, well, Donald Trump and Ride Ron DeSantis is, you know, uh, really got a foot in the door, really got everybody excited, was because of them actually doing something, really putting the American people's voices first. And I think that's what's important here. Um, without without that that pushback, without that power, without what we need, there's nothing to be done. It's the why people really like Kerry Lake was because of the pushback, why people wanted to uh, really just uh, want things done in their country or their state. And I think we need more of that. Well, guys, that's it for the video. Like, subscribe, share. As always, take care.